Hi there. Hello. Welcome to this video. We are doing a abstract painting of a bird based off how we each other think of it. Basically, it's a challenge to see. It's not really a challenge, I guess. Basically, it's just to see if we would draw the same way or differently. So these are our different color palettes that we have set up. And then we're going to split the page in two. And then basically just draw our version of an abstract bird. Can I just point out that every single line, like I'm pointing at now, is not in the middle and it's cricket. <laughs> every single line, there's one line. Well, this video. Shit. Anyways, so right now we're arguing over a pencil, which is great. Yeah, and who ends up getting the pencil? Me! Alyssa. <laughs> and so Alyssa's with the blue nails. I'm with the black nails, Erica. Um, and right now we're just kind of thinking of our concept. And I came up with mine, obviously, first. Very abstract. Yeah, I, I took the abstract and ran with it. And you can tell that we both have a favorite color because we both went with... I went with blue. Well, that was part of the thing, too, was draw it with your favorite color. So mine's green. And hers, like she said, is blue. So that was part of the whole painting was yeah. favorite colors. So here I am. I drew some feet because I was basically I just separated each major piece to the bird. And so I drew the body, the feet, and then I think I ended up drawing wings. Yeah, I draw wings. Mine is basically waiting to dry, but I started drawing, you'll see further down in the video that it's going to be like a feather and an eye shape, but I basically was trying to draw what I think of as a bird. And so a lot of my time was spent waiting for my paint to dry because I was being really impatient. And mine took way longer than I expected, but here I'm drawing basically cubes, yeah? Cubes, geometric shapes. Geometric just... shapes in the background. Because I had envisioned kind that of like I a... would basically use Sharpie and then kind of paint in it, but yeah. then I can completely... kind of like a little collage of... Yeah, You'll I guess. It will make sense at what the that's end. Called? What's that called when you like put like different pieces of paper together like a mosaic there you go <laughs> i guess mosaic is like your is the word abstract mm -hmm. i guess it's not super like erica's is way more abstract with the one circle and her tail it's not a tail it's what a is feather it? oh it's a feather it becomes one We obviously know how they turned out, but I still, for the longest time, thought it was a tail. Not gonna lie. I mean, it, granted, it does look like that, just attached to this weird circle. It looks like, like it, it could become, like, like, an alien or something. Where it comes out of the circle, it's a, like, the neck to tail. Mm -hmm. The neck to a tail? Yeah. I didn't so know like tails the, had a neck. It got... The neck bone's connected to <laughs> <Smart. Tail bone. laughs> But it goes down into like the back and the tail. The tail, the tail the... I guess the spine. It goes from the head to the, the opposite end of end. the spine. It goes all connected into one thing. Okay. So here I am re I had, had, a, I had an amazing idea. And I just add this. a bunch of black to mine. That later on turns into, I changed my concept four or five times. <laughs> it's like you were looking over at mine and you're like, is this abstract enough? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I end up coloring with like one color at a time and try to fill in as much as I can in one color. And then I move on to the next color. It took forever. I felt like it was very relaxing, but also very frustrating that I drew these squares so small. I thought I drew them bigger when I was doing it. 
about halfway through, you started painting them bigger, too. Because you got it. <laughs> like, on the right side. Oh, look, side. I'm testing the paint. I'm impatient and can't wait to do the next part. See, this is where it starts looking like I drew a green bean. I thought that when I drew it. I was like, green bean. I didn't even think about that, but now I do watching it again. And I was, I'm, was unhappy with that black spot for a while. So I think this is at the point where I decide to go over too many colors. And then I'm like, I need more colors. You have quite a few. Yeah, I'm mixing paint. Look, I mixed paint and I wasn't done painting the other colors. Oh, yeah. And I'm not, I told you. I was like, why are you doing <laughs> that? I You're supposed to paint the one color first. Oh, see, you made a bigger one. <laughs> yep. And I also painted over my feet because I excluded them out of my painting. They're too small. They didn't match. They weren't too small. You just didn't. That was another they didn't piece that they didn't, didn't match. Go. It didn't go. It didn't go. It needed to go. And then I add another feather. Which just makes it start to look more feathery, I think. Looks like a drink catcher. Yeah, it kind of does end up looking like that. Yeah, just keep painting. <laughs> this is about where you were like, I'm over it. Can I be done? I almost left. I'm not And you lie. were so close. And I honestly was going to paint the whole thing first. And then by the time I got to the end of the boxes, I was like, you know, we don't need that. <laughs> so <laughs> you'll see what I mean. Yeah. I decided to leave the whole actual bird body empty with no paint. And I'm still waiting for paint to dry. I do like one step every like. Two minutes. Have you been timing yourself? No, I just oh. kind of did some math a little bit. <laughs> I'm getting paint everywhere. The paint's still on the table if anybody cares. We don't. I, I care. Didn't clean that up. I can't. It won't come off. <laughs> it's painted. And still waiting for the paint to dry. On actual, like, isn't it acrylic paint and the black paint? Like, weirdly. It's all not curly paint. paint. I really wanted to use that Sharpie too. I just didn't end up finding this the space is for it. Where I wanted to be done because there's only a few spots left. I'm like, I got it. You could have left it here. It wasn't bad. Look at the dinosaur triangles in my wings. <laughs> Those had to go. I just start de detailing out basically what my idea was in the beginning. Because when I think of birds, their eyes stand out to me and their feathers. And so that's kind of, I'm detailing the eye. If you can detailing call it that. Detailing the eye. If you can call it the eye. The eye to the soul. It's a huge ir iris. Iris. Is the color of your eyeballs. Pupil. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big pupil, but I couldn't cover it because I didn't have enough patience to wait to let it dry. She's like blending out her drawing too. I thought the smudging it of it, the smudging it, the smut. Oh, words. I thought smudging it out looked cooler than just leaving it by itself. Those are like her bird tracks, like her feet. My feet? I didn't even think about it like that. Really? No. I literally thought that's why you did it. I just was drawing like little like accent details. Oh, so here I'm coloring in the wings thinking that I was kind of going to take the triangles. And I was like, no, it doesn't make any sense. So then I painted over it. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much done with mine. Yeah, I think you had to wait for me. I was still letting it dry to the feathers. And then just watching Melissa yeah. paint after this. And then trying to help her a little bit. It's a happy <laughs> accident. As I was like, all right, let's just do this because I think it will look cool. And it works. I think it looked, it turned out better than I expected. It did end up looking pretty cool. And I like the wing part. The wings, yeah. I like the wings and I like the geometric pattern for sure. Yeah, it's pretty even, even on the music. colors. Yeah. Maybe. I guess we're going to... Well, it's not... I guess. I don't know. 
And then I'm trying to mimic what I like so much on every on the other side to the other, on this side. Go okay there. I don't know. I'm trying to finish this side off, and then when I get to the next side, I really try to mimic it, and you'll see that it takes me a second. And Erica has to tell me what I did. She kind of forgets, like, the direction she went, in a way. And I definitely started with the dark side first, on the other side, and I went straight in on that side. Just, yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm, like, stuck. Which way did I do it? You still didn't believe me, too. I know, I didn't. You're like, no. Are you sure? I do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I was so messed up. I still didn't do it the right way. <laughs> Did I? I think so. Did I? I don't know. Yes. See, I'm still See messed up. See how blue it is at this very end, and then you start I painted flat? this side way faster. Yeah, you kind of were like, eh. Uh, whatever. <laughs> the other side looks better. And then I made it too light. And then, yeah, you decided to add some more detailing and... It wasn't bad, it just it wasn't necessary. And I think at one point, Erica goes, um, I think you should just stop. Yeah. Would you say directly, you're like, hey... And I was like, what would you say? I don't remember. I think it's best you just stop while you're <laughs> ahead or something. It's time to be done. But I think we're pretty much done now. I think I do add a couple more details, though. Because I've been waiting for this paint to dry on these feathers yeah, for this a is while. It. This is me. Not really that long. Yeah. It just seems like it was a long time just because yeah. you're watching paint dry. It's so fun. This is where I debated whether or not that you were going to paint the bird. Yeah, you like, I think that's enough. <laughs> I think you just need to be done. Yeah. I think that's exactly what you told me. <laughs> if you, because sometimes you can just go too far. Yep, I add some more details. I only add it to the big feather, though. Yeah, you decided that's all you wanted to do. But I did it so quickly that, like, a couple of these lines at the bottom just don't make too much sense. But it's abstracted, and so it's not that big of a deal. But, yeah, but I do end up really happy with it, though, because it just looks really unique and cool. But that is it. So our abstract us. birds with, drawn with our favorite colors... That's it. And that's what we each came up with. Very different, but still very... I mean, same own. same page, but just very different artistic paths, for sure. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. We hope you really enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next, next video. One. Definitely more of these. So, yeah. we'll see you in the next one. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Bye. Bye.